Hello Scorpio, thank you for joining me for your monthly forecast for May. This month begins with the sun in the part of your situation to do with relationships. Now as this month goes on, there are going to be some gorgeous opportunities to make improvements in this key area. Venus, the planet of loving, is in a very deep and passionate part of your scope through to the 19th. It's going to link with the new moon on the 15th in a way which could bring someone into your orbit in the following month who's truly meaningful, sincere, but also has the knack to really engage you and excite you all at the same time. If you're in an involved relationship already, the fact that the sun is in this location is going to be a really good opportunity to learn more about your needs and those of a partner. And of course that does take a degree of communication. And the planet of communication, which is Mercury, is going to go into the part of your situation uh, which is to do with relationships too on the 14th. So this gives you a fantastic platform to listen astutely to what others are saying hear their viewpoints and exchange ideas, which can bring about greater harmony. Now, it is also true to say that Mercury does come out of shadow on the 4th in a part of your situation which is more to do with work and life's practicalities. Now, this has been a little bit of an unsettled area for you since 2011, but I think there's a wonderful chance for you now to start over anew. And this comes because Uranus, the planet of restlessness, which has been shaken up this zone, moves into your sector of relationships too. This is asking you from the 16th to be really open-minded about the type of people that you can get along with. Because you're a fixed sign, you tend to stick to what you know. That's entirely understandable. But you're also a zodiac sign that can be very fixed for long periods of time and then have huge moments of change. I'm not suggesting that's going to happen for you this month, but over the next six months, while Uranus is in this sector, I do think there is an opportunity for you to expand your circle of connections and the way you think about interacting with people in general. Now, this is a month where Uranus is clashing with your traditional ruler of Mars. This goes on from the 7th through to the 26th. This is quite a difficult influence in the sense that it can make us a bit more impulsive. It's harder to just do naturally uh, the, the things that we know are expected of us in the order that's expected of us because there's something about us that will just resist that. Now Mars initially for you is in the part of your scope to do with the more uh, interactive part of your situation to do with ideas, the third solar house, which continues to be hugely strong for you. But with Uranus in the sixth house through to the 15th, this can create a lot of nervous energy. From the 16th, Mars relocates into your zone of home, family, and also emotions. Again, being more mindful of your reactions to situations can be helpful because then with Uranus in your seventh house, it could be around relationships where there could be those new ideas and it can be exciting, but also there may be parts of you that can initially be a little bit defensive and that's something to try to ward off. Now on the 20th of this month, Venus, the planet of love, moves into a gorgeous location, into your sister, water sign of cancer. This gives you a great platform in the last 10 days to think about travel, higher education, the arts, meeting new people in any area of interest you have can introduce you to someone who can be fabulously attractive, perhaps romantically, perhaps just as a friend. But the sun moves on the 21st into the sign of uh, of uh, Gemini. Now for you, this is about that deep passion that Venus has been arousing earlier in the month. Mercury moves into this location on the 30th, and you may find yourself thinking very carefully about property, 
investment issues, anything to do with pensions, savings. If you're an entrepreneurial type of Scorpio, this can be a very exciting last phase of the month. But the full moon, which occurs on the 29th, does link in with Saturn. I haven't mentioned Saturn so far, but he does continue and will be doing so for the next two years in your sector of thinking and thoughts. And this angle, which intersects with the sun in a quincunx, not the moon itself, which is in, uh, is in Sagittarius, is just asking you to be more mindful that if you do have some ideas about your resources, just don't jump to conclusions. Do err a little bit on the side of safety. So there is the potential for a degree of impulsiveness this month, but also a wonderful platform to improve your relationships. In fact, the relationships that are really meaningful are going to go to a much deeper level. The relationships that are not could leave your world, because Uranus is also about freedom and liberation. So if there is a tie that isn't enabling you to be yourself and yet at the same time have that meeting in the middle, it could see you being a lot more rebellious in the way that you handle things. But overall, this is a month of great opportunity. Now, last month, the planet of healing, Chiron, moved out of an area which was to do with your creativity and flair, and it's moved into one which is to do with your health in a more physical context, and also to do with work and just generally fitness. If you can add some activities to improve these areas, then do. And again, it's about being open-minded, and Uranus will help you to open up to those people with different ideas and ways of approaching things. So I think this month does really offer a fantastic platform of opportunity for you. It's been a real pleasure being with you. I'd love it if you would like or comment on this video, or if you've yet to do so, subscribe to my channel. But for now, good luck and goodbye. Hello, thank you so much for watching my video. I'd love you to join me at my Horoscope Ace app. You can find this at www.horoscope-ace.com. You can use it through Android, iOS, Apple or Facebook. Check out your Ascendant or your Moon site or download your free birth chart. There's all your favourite videos, plus there are daily, weekly, monthly and yearly horoscopes for general, love, Chinese and Indian astrology. If your passion is tarot, there's my brilliant three card money or love tarot readings too. And it's all there at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thank you.